2017 GMC Canyon. We're going to perform a recovery on the YF refrigerant and as you can see so this is your uh, transmission cooler up here and down here is the condenser. They're two in one on one heat exchanger sharing and you can see the hit it took right there. There's no leak in the system and you can see how the metal is actually bent up. So what I'm going to do here we're going to see uh, if any oil comes out when we're performing the recovery on this one and I don't think it should because the line is located so high up on the system it should come out without drawing out oil so I have it open open close 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 so I have it a clean shot through the low side only and let's turn it on and see what happens of course nylog on seals we're open here, we're open on both our valves. I'm going to hit the on button, I'm in the recovery position. Now let's see what happens. Go. You've seen a slight little bit of movement there. And that's just vapor moving inside the system. And as you can see, I'm at 8 PSI drawing down at this level in this line. And if we go back to the unit up here, we're at 21 PSI at the sensor located in this area right here. Now, if we had another sensor at this area, it might be, let's say, for example, 25 PSI. And then if I had another sensor right in the line, it might be 45 PSI. And so that's through the drop of ref uh, restrictions, going around corners, hose friction. And every time you pass a longer length or you go around corners or go through valves, you drop pressure. And that's why we're all the way down to five PSI down here. And going into the tank, it's 80, 80 PSI going into the tank. Outside ambient temperature is 58 degrees and uh, we're almost down and as you can see recovering refrigerant on the low side high up in the system the compressor is way down low there's no oil coming out of this system so this is one way for you guys who are nervous I think all I think all guys who don't have a big giant automatic machine that automatically purges out the oil into a little uh, graduated measuring cup so you could read it and if you go with a system like that especially if you're new you should look at everything you want after a while you will learn and you will know when a refrigerant uh, service valve is located at different positions on different AC type systems whether the service valve is up high or it's attached right to a compressor or it's like down low right at the compressor or a hose goes like in a U like this. All the oil goes down to the bottom of the U of the hose where it settles and they have a service valve fitting there. When you pull up out refrigerant, you pull up a little bit of oil that gathered inside that hose too. And you will actually be able to see that in a clear viewing device like this or if you have a large sight glass like this, you can actually see the refrigerant going through there. Now that's, that's oil that was in the system and that is the refrigerant blowing by from here to here. So basically, well actually it's coming from here and the refrigerant uh, is in a vapor form and it's shooting in this direction and it's coming out down this line down here. And what you're seeing is you're not seeing you're not seeing oil being removed. What you're seeing is refrigerant vapor blowing by existing oil in the sight glass. And it's just swirling around in there. Because if you actually had oil coming out, it would be building up in the sight glass down below. And that is it. I just wanted to show you on this one this one particular recovery on this vehicle that no oil comes out using the machine and um yeah that's about it and i'll see if i can capture some more later on at another time another day 
where I get onto one of the systems where it pulls out a lot of oil depending on where you're hooked up. Not all AC systems are constructed the same and they don't all perform the same and they don't all have the same reactions when performing a recovery whether yes they do pour, pull out oil or whether no they don't pull out oil. Alright, see you guys later.